Hello friends, Ashton here. So today I'm going to share a lightweight application for you. All right, so this application uh, is main designed for employee profiles, but I think you also can use it for some kind of uh, product, maybe showcase or something similar. All right, so basically the application is going to have a gallery like this for all the profiles of your employees. And uh, the data of all of these employees, they're just a table in the Google Sheets. So you can collect the data very easily by using Google Form or type form, other, uh, other kind of forms. So maybe you have new employees, so you can ask them to enter the data with a form. And then this application is going to be updated automatically and to append uh, new employees data in the application, all right? And then uh, you have an overview here and uh, you also can have a detailed uh, view here uh, for all of, all of this information you have, uh, you have in the database, all right? So this is basically a simple like this and, uh, and I'm going to show you how to do some customization for your, you know, just in case you want to use it for your business, all right? And uh, let me show you the, the data here we have. All right, so, so here is the data set. So right now I have uh, eight profiles here and uh, we have eight here. So from Abby to Helen is the last one. And uh, so all the information you can see here. So if I click on this, Abby, so we have the Abby as a name and uh, we have the profile URL and then we have this bio and uh, website, her birthday and uh, the gender and uh, you can keep adding more scenes if you want uh, you can do that too, All right? So this is basically mapping this information into application like this, All right? So that's about the application and uh, and let me show you, uh, you can do some customizations in the settings tab. All right, so this settings tab here is basically some configuration for the application and uh, some configuration for the for this profile card. So first, for the application, so the app, so basically the name of the app, you can do a change. So this goes is going to be the title of this uh, web app. All right, and uh, the flute. Uh, so basically. So right now, I'm not sure if this is updated, but I think if this is fluid, it's going to take full width of the application. So let me check it. I'm not sure if this is working fine. So it seems like it's uh, taking the full width right now. So that's about this fluid here. And the title is going to be this title and this subtitle is going to be this subtitle and the should name data is going to be the data so where your data is stored in a in this so right now is in this data tab so i'm I have this name here for the data and um, just in case if you have another tab with similar data structure and uh, you can link it very quickly by changing this name right so just in case and uh, then we have some settings for the profile profile card okay so first uh, this image is very important so where, where should we get the image from so we're getting this image from this profile url so in the data set you should have a column for the uh, profile image url and uh, this is basically the value of that column Okay, so the header for that column, you should put it here. And uh, then we have the title for the profile and the subtitle for the profile. So for these two settings, you can use placeholders. So basically these placeholders, any column name, you can use them as placeholders to recreate the title you want. Like for example, so if I put a test here, so that means I'm going to use the full name and a test even. I can put the bow here uh, to combine them together or I can use the gender here. 
uh, like this just to create a title like this and uh, then I, if I reload this application so let me do a refresh I should have the name and the gender so you will see here happy female uh, is updated so this is how you can use the uh, placeholder and uh, give you some flexibility to customize the application and also for the subtitle you can do the same thing and uh, the profile aspect ratio so make sure this is a text format because this is very similar like a a formula in Google Sheets so if I'm trying to use a 2 by 1 something like this and uh, if I'm trying to reload the application let me check so you will see here uh, the aspect ratio of the profile image is being updated uh, updated to 2 by 1 and the last one is going to be the the attributes you want to show in the details card here so I have full name and profile URL the bio the website the birthday and the gender so in this case I'm going to show you how to add a new column so you can add a new column anywhere if you want uh, in the data set so let me just insert a new column to the right and I'm going to add the address here so maybe New York I'm going to copy this and after you add this to the application and make sure if you want to show this data in this card make sure you have in this uh, in the settings tab and uh, for this key headers make sure you put a comma here and uh, add, a, add an address here and uh, in this way if I'm trying to reload the application so I should have the address here for New York right so that's basically uh, all the configuration you can do right now for the application and uh, so right now for the URL I'm using a a public a, uh, your, a service here to generate all of this image so in your application you should have the profile you, uh, URL from your employees so as I said before you can collect this data by using a form right so you can create a a, a new a Google form and then you can collect all of all of this information and uh, this column they can be different for sure so you can customize customize it very easily I think just by changing some configurations in the settings and uh, you can start to use the application and uh, at last I'd like to show you how to use this app uh, use this tool so first you need to make a copy of my of my project uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can copy from there and uh, let me just uh, make a copy of the project and I'm going to make a copy so to show you how to do the deployment uh, and uh, how to get the application URL so you can share it with your employees so now I have a copy of the project and uh, so at this moment don't do anything here just leave the data here and uh, so right now this is the copy and go to extensions and uh, click on the app script and in this file is going to have all the source code that you have and you don't need to worry about the code here and please go to the deploy and make a new deployment and give it the description here for the deployment and this, this should be number 108 and here so it should be yourself okay and here um, if you so you can select um, if you if you are enterprise user you, you have a workspace account you have an option here to deploy it for your organization so in that case uh, so is is not full fully public it's just a uh, public for your organization or something like that so you can do that so right now I'm going to do because this is a personal account so I just do anyone can access this application and I'm going to deploy it 
and for the first time you will going to be asked it to authorize the application all right so click on the button and uh, select your account and click on advanced and uh, go to and this is the authorization we need to do and click on the allow so once this is done and uh, you should be able to see the so this is the URL to the application and uh, let me just update it to this uh, I'm just to add a copy here so we can see the difference so I'm going to visit this link So now you will see here this is the new deployment for the copy from the copy right so just easy like this and uh, after the deployment you also can find the URL in the manage deployments and here you also can find this URL here okay so I think that's it for this video thank you bye bye